What's going on, everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. We are back again with another um, kind of the rest of the haul video of the things that I picked up. I'm going to go through the dolls and um, I got like candlesticks, like things that I don't really need to um, put in the haul video. If you guys will not, um, they're still going to be in the haul video. But if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Watch the whole video. Um, there's links down in the description of my like my store, Instagram, you want to follow me, whatever. <clears throat> it's all gravy, baby. So what we're going to do, we're going to get right into the video now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified when I post new content. Let's flip the screen around. Flip. All right, so here we got this racing wheel. Um, I didn't look it up yet. It's NASCAR Pro Racing Wheel. Usually these wheels go for like anywhere from like $50 to $100. It just depends. This is the stuff that I already went over. All right, so here we go. I got these two models. This is all the stuff that I got at that guy's house. <clears throat> Excuse me for my um, a little bit of a sore throat today or something. So I... Look this one up. This one is actually listed. This is the USS Arthur W. Radford. Then we have the USS um, Mobile Bay. What I'm going to do is I may just put these together since they're the same model. This one is this one is new open and this one is new sealed. So I'm going to sell those two probably together. Um, I see somebody trying to sell the other one. I think it's at like $39. 99 something like that but um i'm definitely going to beat that price i'm going to sell both of them at once all right so be on the lookout for these for this ladro i guess that's how you pronounce it some of them say some of them are ladro and some of them are neo some of them are neo by ladro which is like the same thing but they're just porcelain figures they're very well packed with like straw um and they look like this so a lot of them, they're just porcelain. Like, I'm going to go ahead and, and double look. They're not new. Um, they are in the package, but they're not new. They do look like they've been, we're sitting on a shelf maybe somewhere. Um, there's tons of them. We have this one. This one is the Quijote. It's just like, I forget what it is. It's just like an English. I don't know. They're just, they're really cool. This one is like a, like a monk, like a robed type of figure but listen guys these things sell for tons of money like we're talking some of them can sell over way into the 200 300 up closer to a thousand dollars um this one i believe is a little bit more rare this one's bigger let me show you this one um this one's really cool this one is actually like a painter i'm gonna go ahead and double check and make sure that nothing's missing like there look how detailed they are like with the paintbrush and this one's really cool this one's in great condition um so i'm just gonna leave them in the box go ahead and there probably should be a little bit more there but anyway guys these sell for a ton of money like go ahead and shut that i'm gonna make sure that when i ship them this one should sell closer to 200 i think someone has one listed um close to like 300 dollars. i think there's like two of those listed on this one not on these but on most of them it has this little description right here that tells you um what it is it gives you the model number <clears throat> this one is manje which is probably like monk or something so but anyway we should do very well with them i paid 30 dollars for all of them i got one two three four five six seven eight i think there's another so i think that's eight total there's something on the bottom there anyway but for thirty dollars it was a steal definitely a steal and then i picked up these i forget what he what he charged me for all of them i think he charged me for five five dollars for all of them and these are rainbow so these are um these are like vase candles or something they are they're the rainbow flower taper but they're will and bomber candles so these are vintage candles, and there's tons of them, and they're different colors. So I don't see the rainbow ones listed. So like you have that color, and then some of them are like a pink color. So I think all of these are, these are all the ones that I got out of 
These were from another box. So there's those, and then there's a whole box here. So I just grabbed all of them. I figured that I'll probably sell them in lots. Some of them are sealed. Actually, they're all sealed. Yeah, see, these ones are different colors. There's ones in here that are like pink. They're all the same now. They're all rainbow, I guess, which is just colorful, you know, different colors. So we'll take a look at them a little bit further. Let me move this box real quick, guys. This over here, I want to show you. We have Jennifer Sue. Um, this is a Cabbage Patch doll. It's a porcelain Cabbage Patch doll. She is new. Um, he actually threw some accessories in. There's an accessory package. Um, so there's like, you know, like there's an apple. Sorry. I guess I should be paying more attention to what I'm filming. Um, so the do this doll's not worth that much. I mean, the way that I have it with the box and everything and the accessories, I think I can get closer to 50 plus shipping on that one. So I think I paid five for the cabbage. I overpay on that because the prices just weren't. They were kind of all over the place. <clears throat> so there's that, and there's that. And then we're going to sit down, and we're going to go through the rest of this stuff. And then we have... The only reason why I picked this puzzle up is because it's Van Gogh. It's a Vincent, Vincent Van Gogh. There's more candlesticks. We'll throw them over there. But, um, yeah, it's just... Which one is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what painting it is, but... All of his paintings, obviously, they all have um, things. And what I'm going to do with this gold, there is some gold in here. There's definitely 14 carat stamp. There's a herringbone um, necklace in here that is 14 carat, which is, let's see, where's it at? Some of this stuff is real. Some of it's not. <clears throat> all these little earrings in here, like these, I know that these are real. I can tell by looking at these. I, I've been around gold long enough to know. Um, what's real and what's not there's some and I think that these are real too these little silver I think those are also real if they if they're not they may be plated not a hundred percent positive there's some costume jewelry in here that's really nice that I can definitely sell I'm trying to find the herringbone here's the herringbone that's this is stamped 14 carat um, it's not a lot of gold, but gold's really high right now, so I won't need a lot of it to accumulate, um, you know, a decent amount. So let's put that over there. And then there's a whole other container here with some more jewelry. Um, that's mostly like costume and stuff. So I believe that we already went through all that. So, all right, let's sit down and go through this junk. So on the way here... Um there was a um, yard sale yesterday, and the lady threw some things away. I seen them sitting there last night, so I don't know if they were, if anybody touched them or if there was anything else taken, but I did go through and take what I wanted. I took all the clothing, and then I sorted the clothing. I'm going to donate. Um, some of it is trash, um, but I did find some decent clothing items. I'm going to show you that stuff right now. I picked up this soft, this is from 1984, something like that, 1986. The blocks are no good on the inside. They're like, they're pretty rough. They're all like chewed up and they're just, I think they're like disintegrating. They're like, you know, they're like styrofoam, not styrofoam, but um, they're just, what is that material called? What is that material called? I, I don't, it's sponge, like a sponge. Um, But anyway, I'm just going to keep the box and use the box to ship something in. Probably, maybe like a small pair of shoes. I don't know. Whatever. I'd rather just throw that out and just keep the box. Right, so I got my drink. Got my drink right here. Mmm. Yummy. Alright, so let's go through. Okay, this was mine. This was my UNO. I'd pick this up at the thrift store, and I, I'm not really feeling it. I don't really like it, so I'm probably just going to resell that. Um, this was actually bought for me. That's something that I don't wear. Um, I think I might have wore it twice. Um, it's not, it doesn't have any stains on it because I didn't hardly wear it at all. And here's another, another one that I don't wear. And it looks, kind of looks like the Kobe symbol on the back. I'm not really sure. It just says Beast. Or no, it says Super Bad. Um, it has the Nike Team label, which is not, that's not vintage. It's like dry fit. So I'm just going to sell that. These are just shirts that, I, that I'm that i just not wearing and nobody else wants them. So I'm just going to 
I'm just going to sell them. They're a Nike. They'll definitely sell. All right, so there was some jerseys in here. There was a Ray Rice. This one is a youth. This one's like perfect condition. Like you probably never wore it. It probably sat in a closet. I'd probably get about $20 for that one. <clears throat> Being that it's, a, you know, because of the, because of what it is. If these were, if these were Patriots, my son would want them. He's a Patriots fan, but it's a Nike dry fit. Another Baltimore Ravens. They must have been a Ravens fan. So there's that one. And then there's a Ray Lewis, but it's pretty beat up. The lettering on it is really like just coming off. Um. It is a large, it is, if it was in better condition, I would keep it, but it's just in such horrible condition that I don't even know if that's even worth anything. Then there's another one, I've never heard of him, I don't know who he is, Heap, so I don't know if this one's worth anything either, this one's a little bit older also, another older jersey, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if these are worth anything, but they're worth something, I mean, I didn't pay nothing for them, so... And then I'm going to lot these together. These are just two Reebok shirts. They have kind of like a heathered um, look to them. They're just regular, plain. They got the Reebok on the sleeve. I think maybe this one does. This one has the spell out on it. Yeah. This one has a spell out on the side right there. So they're just both Reebok. I'm just going to put them together. I think they're both a medium. I'm going to lot those up. And maybe I'll get like 20 bucks for both of them. Maybe 15, something like that. Better than nothing. This ink was returned because it's because it's um, expired. It's 2013. I think that it's too old to sell. I don't. I don't know. I figured that I would just sell it. And if it's not, doesn't have a lot of value. I'm gonna throw that away. So I'm just gonna throw the ink away that's expired. That's not selling. And we got some birds bees. I don't know what this is worth, but nobody wanted it for a dollar. So I don't know if it's not worth anything. And then I got two bins. So these bins were sitting out there for free. All right, so I just threw the clothing in them and I have two extra bins. They don't have lids on them, but for stuff that I don't really need to um, stack, it doesn't matter. It'll be all good in the hood. All right, so I already went through all that stuff there. I need to get my cassettes listed. I got this whole whole case of country and I think there's some rock and roll in there. I think it's mostly country. I think that was all country. All right, so he wrote on them what they were. This one is, he wanted $18 for it. Big Arbogast. Looks like it says Hawaiian. Hawaiian Wiggler. So I don't know. I don't know if these are worth anything. I'll have to look them up. And then there's another one. There's another one. It's just a fish. So he actually had them all marked. He was a, like I said, the guy was a reseller. So he knew mostly everything that he had. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, he was just trying to get something for it. All right, so let's go through this stuff real quick. We got some games. All right, so we got the Andy Griffith. There's one sealed and one not. Then there's Roller Coaster 2. I think there's more Roller Coasters somewhere. I picked up this Trigger Man. I got DVD. We got Learn Drums on DVD. We got a Blu-ray in there. Just some, just your random, random um, media. These were sitting in the bottom. These were actually with a bunch of other cassettes. I think this is Hawaiian. It says Billy Muir, Brooke Benton, and then it says Anita Bryant. So I don't know if this is just like Hawaiian um, type of... I, I don't know what it is. I've never... Break them. Always dropping things. I have butter fingers, man. I'm telling you. Um, and then... So I don't know. I'll look them up and see what they're worth. I'll just grab them because they were a little, a little more on the unusual side. So we got the Schindler's, Schindler's List, Thunderstorms. I'm going to put this with these three sound effects. So these are all sound effects. There's there's more to them. This is volume two, three, and four. It's not all of the volumes, so I'm just going to put those together. Then we have, I found another Deer Hunter. We got Roller Coaster. This one is Roller Coaster Tycoon. Another roller roller coaster. This is Loopy Landscapes. Includes Corkscrew Follies. This is the expansion pack. So this is Roller Coaster, and that's the expansion pack. Then we have Sim City 3000. I don't know if that's that game is even worth anything. I'm not really sure. So I think, forgot I had the Red Hot Chili Pepper CD. Um, I like a lot these. I like to lot those things together. I don't like selling them by themselves. 
Then we have Bodyland. I never heard of that. So I was just curious, so I picked it up. We have Batman Activity Center. These were obviously, um, they have a little bit of water damage. Professional Bull Rider 2. I have no idea. Then we have the 102 Dalmatians. These are all CD-ROMs, guys. Then we have Backyard Baseball, which I love. I love Backyard Baseball. That's awesome. That's a fun game. Then we have the Muppet Muppet Treasure Island, which is like a double. The discs are, yeah, these cases are just, they're not perfect. This is a three disc set, Mupp Muppet Treasure Island. I don't know what that's worth. Then we have Kelly, Kelly Club. It's like, it was like a bar, some type of doll or whatever. Power, Power Rangers Time Force, um, Lego Racers. Yeah, see the damage from it was wet. They're, they got wet. Westworld 2000. I have no idea. I have no idea what this is, but wow, it's really scratched. Some of these might just be throwaways. I might just have to toss some of them out. Then we got the Superman Pop. This was all from the one yard sale. A lot of this stuff was wet. I did leave my business card with him. He was an older man. Um, this one is. I don't know what these are worth. I don't know if my son would want these. So this was just in the box open. This is Alien vs. Predator. Loot crate. I don't know if they're both supposed to be in there and there's one missing. So I don't I don't know what the deal is with that. I just grabbed it. This was just kind of thrown in yesterday at that last yard sale. This is this is your case. The Optimus. That is the top of the this is the faceplate for a radio, and there's the JVC. There's a remote for the other radio, probably, that he changed out. I don't, I don't know what the situation was there, but I just grabbed it. Um, I figured I could sell the remote. All right, so these, I believe, I think these were taken out of a magazine or something. They were just put on cardboard. I wasn't sure what they were, so I just grabbed them. I think I showed these to you guys yesterday. I think we have Ringo. We have Ringo. We have John Lennon. And then we have Paul McCartney. I think that's Paul Paul McCartney. Um, George Harrison obviously is the one that's missing. So I don't know what they're worth. Probably nothing. So I grabbed these. I think he charged me like two dollars for both of them. I think he was trying. He was only trying to get five. So I don't know what these are worth. Maybe I'll just sell them together in a lot. Someone will buy both of them. So it'll just seal the deal and just kind of get rid of them. Um, then we have this golf. Um, it's Tips and drills. It's Eddie, Eddie Marins. So it's just a set. This set is not really worth that much. I wasn't sure, so I just grabbed it anyway. But it's really not worth that much. Then we have this vintage Rolodex replacement paper. I seen a Rolodex too. I should have grabbed it, but I didn't. And then this is a roll. This is what this is. It's a Rolodex, but. I don't Uh, I don't know how it works, but somehow, I don't, I don't think there's any paper in it. There isn't. I think you have to put paper in it, and I don't think that this paper will, this paper won't fit in it, so, yeah, I don't know. If somebody has the paper to, that um you put in that, then they would be okay. Found another video head cleaner. Um, I couldn't figure out how to get the tape out, or not the tape, how to get the cleaning solution out. I think you just pull it. Yeah, you just pull it out like that. A lot of times the bottle's empty, which it is. The bottle's empty, so I don't know what good it is without the, without the cleaning solution. I mean, I'm pretty sure Maybe I can buy it. So when I find these, when they're empty, I have another one too that's empty somewhere. I've listed it empty. So I wonder if you can buy the cleaning solution and just fill them, you know. So I'm sure you can. You can buy anything on, on um, eBay. All right, so we have this. These books are to be sold only to men in uniform at the special price of blah, blah, blah. It's called Tobacco Road. This was part of that um, yard sale I went where I bought all those cards and stuff. It's going to take a long time to go through all them. I think what I'm going to do is just lot them all together. I don't think I'm going to have time to list them all individually. I did that last time with my postcards. 
I just don't have time to go through every individual one. It just, that takes, it's too time consuming. I just can't do it. All right, so we have the Zippo. This is a big, big Eon. I guess that's what that is. I don't know. I don't know what the Zippo is worth. I know it works. The last Zippo I had to get, I think it's sitting down there. It's no good. It's, the barrel's loose. So the hinge. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then we have, I think I, sh did I show you? This is a big Colt pistol, revolver, um, pocket screwdriver. So I don't know what the value is on that. He was trying to get seven fifty for it, so I don't know if it's worth anything. It might not be worth anything at all. And this is a big Calibri or something like that. Where's my magnifying glass at? Where are you at, magnifying glass? It's probably sitting. I don't know where it is. Is it on the? Where are you at, magnifying glass? See, I have two magnifying glasses. Over on the wrong side. Yes, sir, guys. Let me tell you. Big Calibri, something like that. I don't know. It's just a, just a gold lighter. It, it does work. It probably says that on the bottom. Yeah, it says it on the bottom. Calibri or whatever. I don't know the value of this lighter. I know he's only trying to get $10 for it. So it can't be that much. All right, so we got this Geo. These are like magnetic marbles. I don't even know what this is worth. I know it's vintage. It's definitely vintage. Found an ET glass. These are something that you don't see every day. I can probably get $10 plus shipping for this glass. Maybe more, maybe $15. Um, this is an Aladdin. This is a thermos. It doesn't, it doesn't shut even. Like I don't know if that has something to do with maybe the threads. Maybe it has to go on a different way. No, it doesn't really, but that's where it stops and then it doesn't come off. So I don't know, but I don't know what they're worth. No, I think I looked at the inside. Yeah. Inside is like not bad. So I don't know what it's worth. I just picked it up. Is that lid on right? Yeah. All right, we'll see. It's a nice color, a nice blue color. And I don't know what this is. I scrapped it. I'm, I am I know it's a mirror. I don't think it's a compact. I think you can maybe hang it on something. I think it like folds down. Then there's a mirror there. So what do we have? Are they different sizes? I think they're the same. So I don't know. It doesn't have any markings on it. It just says Japan. I'll take a picture of it and maybe I can find it with Google Lens. I'll, I'll give it a shot. So this definitely needs cleaned up. This is, I don't think it's that old. It's OC Sports. It's just your, your typical youth Cincinnati Reds. I'm going to try to clean that up on there. I think that'll come off. Yeah, that, that's coming off. I'm just going to wipe that probably with a clean rag. Um, it does have the paper in it, but I don't think that it's new. I think it was definitely worn. Some people just leave the paper in just to keep the, um, like I do with some of my, this one doesn't have any stickers or tags or anything on it. Sometimes I leave certain things on. Just depends. All right, so this is open. I don't think this paper's any good. It looks kind of wrinkled. Yeah, it's, it's a little wrinkled. If there's not a ton of value here with this Speed Racer, um, is this like a border? Are these a bunch of stickers? Peel and stick, giant applique. Okay, so this is just, oh, so this is just like a big head or whatever you call them. Um, I'll, I'll check the value on that. If the value's not a ton, I might get rid of it because there's a, it's kind of wrinkled. I don't know if it was um, water damaged. Found some more trucks, guys. Better get these listed today. Is the axle supposed to be like that? I don't know if that's supposed to go. What does that say? 19. Wow, this is old too, guys. I didn't even look at the age. I knew it was metal. 1969, Gabriel Industries. All right, so hopefully we have some value on that, guys. This is just cool. Like some of the toys that kids played with back in the day were just really cool. There's a little bit of rust on the axles. But the rest of it's like not too bad. It does, it goes up, 
and this is probably, yep, there's the turn. Just really cool. Like toys were toys were dope back then. Like they were really cool. They were really they were very detailed. Uh, I think this is micro machines. Everything was just make a donation, so the, the prices that were on the items were just kind of disregarded. So this is a micro machine. I think that goes on there. I bet you it's a push, is it? Is it a push? Yeah, so it's like here it goes. Doesn't work. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Try again, guys. Ready? Oh, man. I'm telling you. Bruh. I do my own sound effects. Ready? Come on. It doesn't. It doesn't want to work. So, it won't. It's going to work when the car falls off, so we're, we're done with that. All right, so I don't know what this is worth. I know it looks like a micro machine. I think you got, I, I should probably, I'll probably need like a ton of them to have any value. Found another metal Tonka. This one's not in the best condition, but they don't have to be. I, I think that what people do a lot of times, they'll restore it. So they'll remove the rust and I'll just sell it just the way that it is. It's got a 25 cent. Sticker on it, the peel off. I pulled some of the paint off. That sticker's been on there forever. How, how long was that yard sale? Like 10 years ago. All right, so that one's pretty cool. It's just a, just a Jeep. I think this is an umbrella. Koa. I don't know. It's just like a zip. It has an umbrella inside of it. It's actually still got the tag on it. I don't think that this was used. I'll take a look at it, I'll open it up, see what it looks like, and just kind of go from there. Maybe keep it, put it in my car, I'll have another umbrella so my kids can have an umbrella. I might do that. I might take that home and give it to one of my kids. Now check this out, guys. This is really cool. I don't know what the value is on this. I know that it looks like it's got a piece of plastic broke right there. It's not perfect. It's Hasbro 1971. Is this one of those pull ones? It is. I think this is a pull. Or is this a push? Let me see. I think it's broken though. Let me see if we can get some. No, it doesn't turn. Like I don't know how this thing works. I don't know. I know the wheel, it definitely sounds like there's something broke on the inside, but I just thought it was really cool. It's kind of like a chopper, something like that, but I thought it was dope. It's from the 70s, so it's definitely old. There's another old one. I don't know if this is Tonka. Another old metal. People collect these, so it's definitely, definitely has some value turns works whatever so i don't know i don't know what this one is let's see guys this one's made in france oh this is a majorette it says pelly sir penuis one fifth has the scale and everything on it so i don't know i'll have to look it up guys and see what it's worth might have some value look even this opens and you can see the engine let's repair the engine guys all right pretty cool whatever another motorcycle i wasn't sure um if it had any value or, at all so i just kind of grabbed it just a cool looking motorcycle really neat it's got the got the laid back type of deal here the seat definitely a one seater um it doesn't yeah, see, these are all like the ones that you push, but they're not working. Yeah, the front wheel is working, but... And the, the light comes down. I don't know why. I don't know what goes in there, but that's really weird. So, I don't see any markings on it. I might have to take a picture of this one and see if I can find it. It's really cool how Google works that way, how... 
I don't see a thing to go in to pull it. So some of them have the, the rip cord where you pull it, whatever you want to call that. But I don't see that. All right, so I think this is a, I think this is a plug and play. This stuff is really dusty and dirty, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I really don't mind. I know that there's money. There's gold in them there hills. So this is a Power Ranger plug and play. We'll take the batteries out of it, see if it even, if it even works. It's, it's not powering on, but this is cool. I don't know what the value is on this. Somebody might, might be a collector. So we'll see. We'll clean it up a little bit. We'll take that. It doesn't feel like it has batteries in it. That's supposed to come up and down. Yeah, I guess. Got the button. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It is from, and you really, you just can't read that type of, especially in the light, when the, the light's not right. Power Ranger, what does it say? By BBS, it's 2006 Jax Pacific. They make all this stuff like, so we'll check that out. We'll plug that in. We're gonna see if the PlayStation works today. I have controllers, I have all the cords, and we're just gonna go, kind of go from there. Found Venom. So I don't know what year he's from. Um, sometimes some of these, some of these toys can be really valuable. You just never know. Usually it says it on the foot. It says 2000, 2008 Marvel. All right. So there's Venom. He's cool. He's like, yeah, he's pretty dope. So I don't know what he's worth. He's definitely worth at least $10. Found a Unitron. Digital watch, I'll put a battery in that, see if it works. So, and these, I don't know what these are, and it's the reason why I grabbed them. So, definitely need to change these bags out. They're all dusty and dirty, but at least the items inside are good. Maybe this is like Tron. I think that's what this is. I think these are Tron toys. I don't know if they're from, maybe they're from like McDonald's. So, there's a little robot. There is... Another robot. The rest of them are robots. They're all the same. But um, let me see. See if we have any markings. See if I can. They're probably McDonald toys. They look like McDonald toys. SK3. That's probably just what it is. Maybe on the back. Definitely going to have to go. Oh, there it is. 2000. What's it say? 2003 Miramax film, yup, manufactured for McDonald's. So, I think it's Tron, because I think the Tron movie was dumb. I don't, I don't, I think it was stupid. I didn't really appreciate it. So we have some more bins. I was running out of bins for my toys, so now we have two more bins. I don't have to go buy them because bins with lids, they're, they they can get expensive. All right. So what was this? This was more Micro Machine. All right, so here's, I'm going to probably put all the Micro Machine stuff together. So we have, I think it's some type of, some type of set. We have that. That's cool. It's like probably where it's going to crash. Does it go together? Maybe it's like a looped. I, I don't know what this is. I'm not really sure. But then here's another truck. Okay, so this is a Micro Machine and there's another Another truck and another car. So then we can put these together along with that other set. So they're the same thing. They go together. So it's made by, what's it say? Micro. Yeah, Micro Machines. So date, I'll find the date. All right, I don't know what the set is, but I'll figure it out. I knew they were Micro Machines. I just kind of had a. I don't think any that nobody else makes them. They, there might have been some someone that maybe duplicated them. I think these are just a Bugs Life. That's a Bugs Life. I forget his name, but um, these are cool. There's one bug. There's a bug. So just like a lot of mixture, like a lot of McDonald toys too. But people buy these. People buy them. I think that people would would prefer them to be new, but it is what it is. All right. I don't know who he is. He looks like. He definitely looks like the one from the Backstreet Boys. A lot. I think that's him. I Actually, I really do. I think that's who he is. 
He's got to have some type of marking on him. I'm thinking McDonald's too for that one. I just thought it was cool, so I grabbed it. Anything that 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 it looked like I could probably sell, I definitely grabbed. Okay, so the bag is dirty on here. There's actually another Tonka truck in here. I'm gonna take it out. There's another Tonka truck. I couldn't find, um, I couldn't find the trailer for that. It was probably there, and I didn't know what, it, what that it went to that. All right, so we're gonna throw this bag away. This is terrible. Um, there's a lot of. This is probably not gonna be any good. It's. These are called bumper thumpers. I might be able to sell the remote, but I just have a feeling that we're going to be dealing with a lot of, because look at all the dirt and rust on there that, I don't know if it's just coming from the bag. I don't even want to sit this down on here, but there, let's throw in another bag, because that other bag was way worse than this one. All right, so we're going to throw this in here. I'm going to look real quick at the battery compartment for this. Yeah, see, it's not even coming off. There it is. All right, so no damage here, but I'm pretty sure. No, that one actually has power. That's how you can tell if a, if a nine volt has power. If you guys don't know, is to put it on your tongue. If it shocks your tongue, don't worry, you won't get electrocuted. I don't recommend it though. So I'm telling you not to do it. How's that? <laughs> All right. God forbid somebody might do it while it's plugged in or something into a wall or something. I, I don't, you know, you never know what happens. I seen a lady fall yesterday. Unbelievable. I was going into Giant to buy um, the guy that I bought all the stuff off, off of. Um, I had to go pull more money out. So he said, well, why don't you grab me a soda? So I went to Giant and this lady fell as I was going in. Like I didn't see her fall. But I was like, and it actually was on the way out. It was when I was leaving. So I made sure she was all right. I went into the store and made sure that someone, I said, you know, there's a lady fell outside. I can't even get this one. I don't even want to deal with it right now. It's frustrating. Wow. So yeah, I, I stayed until I made sure she was okay. I tried to tell them not to move her. The one lady was trying to move her. You don't move people when they fall. This is awesome. I've never seen a wooden Tonka. I don't know what year it's from. Um... It's made in China, so I think it's a little bit older. The wheels, the wheels move. This moves. It's a little dirty, but it has like a little, has the pickup. Does this move? Yep, that moves. That moves around. So I just thought it was really cool. And I don't know what the value is on that. I don't know what it's worth, but it's really dope. So, you know, I had to have it. There's a lot of crap in this box. All right, so I found a Neo Geo. I know that these can have some value. I don't know what it's worth. It opens up, it closes. Um, definitely gonna have to put batteries in it and make sure that it works. Yeah, I don't know. Um, obviously, I think that the pieces are missing. There was supposed to be little pieces that go in there and unfortunately, Oh, the whole thing folds out. Yeah, that really sucks. It would be cool if all the pieces were here. So it's not complete. I don't I don't know what this is worth. I have no idea. Um, it's just Neopets. I think that it's supposed to be... It's not even... It's made by Hasbro. This is not even that old. It's 2003. I thought that Neo... I think, I'm thinking of Neo Geo. Yeah, I don't think that there's a ton of value here. All right, so the Superman pop and the alien versus predator. My wife just called. Oh, she went to Walmart, and one of my sons is actually up. What time is it? 9.30. Mm. All right, so this one is the alien versus predator. He wants this one. I had to tape the box together because the box was. I have, like, those little round um, um, stickers that you can you can seal items with. So this is pretty cool. It's got, like, a little... So that one's the alien. Okay, that one's not Predator. That's alien versus Predator. I don't know. I guess the, the collection three-inch blind box figures available now. I don't even know if these are even, if they're even worth anything. I, that Superman one could add value to it, but the boxes aren't perfect. People are real picky about things like that. So, you know, whatever. All right. So I didn't know what these were. I had no idea. 
Um, I know they're like rocks and stuff, but I don't know what kind they are. So um, I figured I'll take them because you never know. There might be a little bit of value here. Um, especially those little the green ones. I don't know what they are. So we'll figure it out. It could just be a bag of rocks. It is a bag of rocks, but you know, we'll see. All right, so this is called a mobile. This is a baby mobile. Um, I think that it's probably probably safe to say that it's definitely definitely vintage. I think it goes, yeah, it goes this way so that they stay up. All right, so let's see. We got that one. We got the clown. Clown. Then we got that one. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. It's definitely vintage. Then we have that one. So I know that they can have a little bit of value to them. Where's the other one at? We have an extra one. Why do we have an extra one? Hmm. Kind of strange. Am I missing? Is it missing a... No. It's not missing a corner. All right, so there's... There's an extra one, and then here's the mobile piece that connects. I think that that goes on there, like that. Pretty cool. I'll have to look it up. It's made by Eden. It's music. I guess it, I don't want to turn it too far because it's going to be, and here is this piece. All right, and that connects to the crib. So, something like that, I guess. That goes in there like that and it connects. So all the pieces are here and we have an extra, we have an extra one. I don't know why there's an extra one. I guess you could mix and match. Well, no, I don't know. Kind of weird. Does it work though? Well, I'm sure it does. We'll see. Okay, so I looked it up. It is, um, it says Eden Beatrix. Potter and then there's uh, most of the ones that are selling are Peter Rabbit. So I don't know If the one I have is any it's not it's nothing really special. There's one there 35 like people are asking too much for them like if I do like $30 Free shipping or something. It's gonna cost me to ship it. So that's probably not a good idea. But anyway, whatever There's still some value there. Okay, so this is the um, Barney. What's it called? It's called brush your teeth Barney it is from 2001. Eh, has a little bit of a smell to it. Really cool. So I'm gonna. It needs batteries. I have to put batteries in it and test it to see what the deal is, yo. I'm sure this part just comes out. Yeah, that piece comes out. Take the battery out of it. Um, the batteries might actually work. Probably not. I doubt it. This thing's 20 years old. So, yeah, you push on the on the thing. All right, so pretty cool. I thought it was dope. Um, I remember I only spent twenty dollars total at that sale. It was just make a donation, so I just donated twenty bucks. I got a decent amount of stuff. Um, I grabbed this. It's just like a bunch of like screwdrivers and a bunch of tools. Looks like a little mini baseball bat in there. That looks like a pretty cool set. So, which reminds me, I gotta give my my son needs to use my screwdriver. So, while I'm remembering, I'm gonna take it out because he has to take his computer apart. And it takes this, it takes a V screwdriver. You can get these on. I I bought mine on eBay. I don't really mess with Amazon anymore. I'm sure you could get this set on Amazon. They're under ten dollars. So, in case you have to take like a Game Boy apart, something that has V screws. Which are the, you know, they look kind of like, they look like the flux capacitor. So, yeah. Alright, so anyway. I thought he was pretty cool, but is he? I don't know what he is. I need to clean him up. I'm hoping I can get that off. That's a little bit of mold. If I can clean him up and get that off, that'll be really cool. But, um, I don't know. Is he? Oh, that's a sticker for how much they wanted for him he's really cool like i said i don't know what the value is here does that oh he's battery operated check that out and the battery compartment looks pretty good why don't we test it out guys what do you think 
Let's test it out. What else have we got to do? Do 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 do. Down a hundred McDonald's toys. Hundred and five, maybe. All right. <clears throat> Not a very good singer, am I? Ooh, it takes the smaller one. I knew that. Triple A, baby, triple A. The springs don't look too bad. They look a little dirty. But they're not, like, really. Man, it's, it's one thing when you're dealing with all this dusty, dirty. Hmm. I may have to clean it. You wind it. That comes down too. What is that? I don't know why that why that piece comes down. Uh, one arm moves. His arms move. Okay. So his arms move, but I think that he's going to need to be cleaned out a little bit. Um, a lot of times when your springs, they look, they did look a little rusty to me. They look like they did have a little, but not bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some alcohol. Um, I think you can use vinegar too. I think you can use vinegar to clean those metal springs, to clean the metal inside of like tape players and things like that. Now, if you pick them up and they're really bad to the point where they're not, it's not even worth buying. It's, just don't pick them up when they're like that because... They're probably not going to work. A lot of the tape players and stuff that I pick up, they don't, half the time they don't work anyway. All right, so here's some more games we found. We have 3D Hunting, which this was actually, this was bought. No, that was, I wish Super Mario Sunshine was in here. Nope. 3D Hunting. So there's 3D Hunting, Trophy, Whitetail. And then the game. These were actually both together. They're not in very good condition. So, yeah, I wish the Super Mario game was in there. Would have been a lot better, right? All right, so not too sure of the value of them. Look them up. They're not in very good condition. Then we have Elk Hunter. This is um, Browning. See, these weren't, they weren't taken care of. Not really. They're not in the best condition. This is Gateway Music Match. Um, I don't know. That's not too bad. That's actually in pretty good condition. And it has the key on it. There's the upgrade key. There. Then you have Bass Tournament. Jimmy, something, is that Jimmy Hunter or something like that? I don't know. It's got two, two discs in it. And they are... They're okay. They're not... They're not bad. They're not good either. So, you know, whatever. Then we have the arcade, common CD-ROM, dozens of exciting arcade style shareware games on CD-ROM. I don't know even what's on this. This one's out. So most of these discs are like, they're not, they're not in the best condition. Then we have the turkey hunt. This one was water damaged. The disc is okay. Yeah, that one was water damaged, unfortunately. Then we have another deer hunt challenge, which, how many deer hunt challenges did I find yesterday? A lot. <laughs> Tons of them. Alright, putting that back in. This one is, it's okay. It's not perfect. There's deer hunt challenge. Probably lot these all together. Then we have duck hunter. Yeah, they're not in the best condition. I'll, I'll just lot them all together and get rid of them. Now, I've heard of Zumba Foo. This is definitely one where I'm going to have to replace the case, which is why I, I have plenty of backup cases. This one says Dell and Compact on it, but I'm going to replace that. You're not going to see that. I'm going to get rid of that. All right. So last but not least, we have some toys. These are, what are these? Oh, these are all Chippendale. All right. So these are all, all these are Chippendale. Oh, there's the there's all of them. There's like doubles. So I don't know what these are. We're gonna have to take one out and look and see what we got. 
going on here, guys. I don't know what they're from. They do have a little bit of wording under the foot. Really, really small. It just says Disney, China, 1991 Kellogg. Okay, so these were um cereal. These are, and hopefully the whole set is there. If the whole set's there, then we're good to go. Um, I don't know if they're all Chippendale. Um, one, one, they look like a different show. They don't look like the Chippendale. They, that one looks like it glows in the dark. Um, I think they all came in individual packaging. Um, they were all like in, pla in little plastic bags, obviously, because they were in the cereal. I think they used to put the prize in the cereal. And then I think they started putting it like on the side of the bag. I don't know how that works now. Kids don't even care about that crap. Not not like they used to. It's not like it used to be. Things change, you know. It's just the way it goes. Alright, so then we have um I guess this is more Disney. They look like more ones. They're Scrooge. What is that? Is that DuckTales or whatever? I don't know. I don't that's not no, it's not. I don't know what it is. I think these are more Kellogg ones. I think that's what they are. Maybe I'll put them all together. And then we have, we have Tarzan. We have two of those. Those are cool. Um, if there's not a ton of value here, I might just, do they work? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't got time for that. Alrighty then. And this is a stash. McConnell's Country Store, Waterville, PA. So here's your stash bag. I just thought it was cool. Put your stash in there. Is that a mustache? No, not that kind of stash. All right, so what else do we have? We have another Batman. He's cool. I don't know what year he's from. Batman. So it's not really like complete with anything else. Let's see. Usually if you're looking for the, the year is usually on the back. Sometimes it's on the, like on the thigh somewhere. And a lot of times it's on the foot. But seeing that the, these, um, how these are detailed like that, like those are nice boots you got there, buddy. Um, it's on the back. So this one is DC. It doesn't say. It doesn't say what year though. It might have some more wording somewhere else. Like I said, a lot of times, sometimes it's on the inner thigh of the action figure. It could be on the arm. It could be anywhere, but it could be on the butt. But it's not. It just says. I might have to Google that. I don't know what year it's from. So I know it's Batman, but, you know, what year is it? The world will never know. All right, and I couldn't figure out what that was, so I just grabbed it. I was like, I'll figure it out later. I don't know. I think it says something on the front of it. Forget. Or I can't, I can't really see it. It actually has suction cups on the bottom. Interesting. I don't know what that is. We'll figure it out. Google Lens, man. I'm telling you. Google Lens. Who is that? Is that Mufasa? I don't, I don't even remember the Lion King characters. I know that's Lion King. Here is another, here's another Micro Machine. So there's another one. I'll just include that one. That one's cool. That one's dope. It's got the, it's got the motor popping out of the, out of the hood. We'll definitely put that in with that. And then we found a homie. These guys were called homies. Um, you could get them out of the bubble gum machines back in the day. This was probably 90s. If you have all of these in good condition, like the whole collection, they're worth a good bit. So if you find these in a bag somewhere at a yard sale, grab them up. They're called homies. Hey, oro levato, sapony. Okay. All right, yeah, and then we got, is that, what is that? I don't know. I know it's Lion King. I don't remember. All right, I think this is sewer gas. This is Ninja Turtles. Um, I don't know what this is worth. I don't know if it's missing anything. Um, it might be, does that come off or maybe the snakes are supposed to move? I don't know what this does. I could just sell it just for parts. Um, I know it's, it's definitely older. Definitely has a, does that have the year on it? Really, really small. 1989 Min Mirage Studios Playmate Toys. So this is the sewer. Sewer gas, uh, whatever, I don't know. Th this might be worth $20, so who knows? That's why I grabbed it. Ninja Turtle stuff is, is very highly collectible. 
All right, and then we have some Cowboys and Indians. Didn't know that I grabbed that. Actually grabbed the hat. I didn't even know that I grabbed that. The headdress. That's called a headdress, not a hat. Um, respect. Respect the, the American, Native American Indian. All right, so we have a cowboy. Um, I grabbed these because these are big, and um, you don't see them like this all the time. I don't know who they're made by, but Google Lens. We're going to Google Lens. So we have him. We have him. They're a little dirty, but there's nothing broken up. He's like, how? How? How are you? Um, let's see. And we have another one. There's another one. There's a cowboy. So I don't, um, I don't think I should have a problem listing these. He is, I'm guessing that he's an Indian, American, Native American, whatever. He's got his bow and arrow, I guess. And then, of course, you know, we got to have the Lone Ranger. So I thought he was really cool. Someone will buy him. I was trying to find his horse. I couldn't find it. What was the name of his horse? Wasn't it? It's not Bullet. What was the name of the Lone Ranger's horse? I don't remember. <clears throat> this is... I think this is like 70s. Man, I'm telling you. Hong Kong. Is that the date? No, it just says something toy makers. Something, something. Ah, there's the lettering is just you can just barely see it. But that's it. That's all we got. Empty box. Box is dirty. I'm gonna throw the box away because it's ugh. and that's it, guys. I'm gonna start looking some of this stuff up. I'm gonna start getting it listed. Um I believe that the roller coaster too, the I'm looking right at it, is made that's why I'm thinking of it. I think that the roller coaster game sells really well. Um, I think I just sold one for like $30. So you'd be surprised some of those old computer games. Um, some of them are worth a lot. Like you just have to look them up. I mean, not everybody has time to look everything up. I just kind of go with, like I said, I just kind of go with my intuition, go with my gut instinct. Um, and if something's not worth anything, if I paid next to nothing for it, then I, you can always get rid of it. You can always redonate it throw it away, whatever you need to do. Um, sometimes I'll just pick things up in bulk. There'll be scratch discs. There'll just be things that, you know, it doesn't always work out, but you're always making money. Don't, keep that in mind. If you're selling on eBay and you're doing it right, um, you're, you're running your business like a business, you will always make money. That's just a fact. You know, that's just the way it works. But um, I've learned that over the past four years. I know that I'm always making money no matter what. Like, um, I already sold one of the Google... Um, the Google um, Home, what are they called? What are they now? <laughs> me. Man, it's dusty and dirty down here, man. Oh my God. I gotta start organizing. All right, so it's the it's called a Nest. So this one already sold. I got 120 for that one. This one's in a perfect immaculate condition. Now this one has does have a little bit of water damage to the paper so I'm pretty sure that it's fine on the inside but um that's probably gonna keep it from selling it's probably gonna take a little bit longer because of that but I did put that in the description that the box is not perfect so hopefully I can get 150 for this one so I already got my money back on that one that one sold for 120 I paid um, 50 for both of them so I paid $25 a piece so that one I already turned 25 into and I think I did free shipping so but still, I probably made, you know, anywhere from 60 to $70 after I ship it. It should only cost me $10 to ship this. It can go in a regional rate. It can go, I will definitely not put something like that in a padded flat rate that will go in a box, in a box, whatever. I'll make sure that it is shipped um, appropriately so that it doesn't get damaged. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I um, hope you learned something, obviously. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You don't know what you're missing every day. I'm trying to, not every day, but you know, every other day, every couple days, I'm trying to get a video up. So 
um, when I run out of yard sales and run out of fun things to do um, with my GoPro, if I even get to use it, um, which reminds me, where is my GoPro? It's in my bag. I'm going to put the bag by the door so I don't forget. Bruh, there's the bag. Yeah, it was my son's computer, which is actually the reason why he needs the screwdriver because it's not running right. His battery's dying. I may have to order him another battery for that laptop because um, it's not it's not charging. And I have a feeling that if he takes it apart, he's going to ruin it. And it's like a $300 laptop. It's, <coughs> I don't know if it's alien. It's not alien. It's some, it's that other, whatever. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. Peace out.